All right, so in today's video, we're gonna put on our detective hats and uncover the truth behind one of the most famous guitar pedals ever made the Ibanez Tube Screamer, or maybe more than one. Now, before we get started, I need to know for you personally, are you a TS-808 person or are you a TS-9 person? Like which one has been your go-to overdrive pedal? You see, like a lot of people, and I've told parts of this story before, one of the first pedals that I ever purchased from the guitar store near my house was an Ibanez Tube Screamer. Wanting more and more pedals, I just went in, I was like, I want the pedal that John Mayer has, and every single time I would look it up online, every single forum I would go on, every single friend I would ask would tell me to get a tube screamer. So I got in my car, I put my keys in the ignition, I drove to that guitar store and I said, give me the tube screamer. He was like, which one? And I was like, uh, the, the, you know, the tube, tube screamer. I want a tube screamer. Give me a tube screamer. And so I got this pedal right here. It has never left my board for the past probably seven or eight years that I've been playing and since I've purchased it. And it's been amazing. And for the most part, I haven't really dabbled in the capabilities. I just had one or two settings that I liked that I knew how to get where I kind of cranked the drive a little bit and I just went to work. But as soon as I got that tube streamer, what I noticed when talking to other guitar players is they would ask me the same thing that that guitar store employee would ask me. They would go, what pedals do you use? I'd say, I use a tube screamer. They would go which one and I was like what are you talking about it's a tube screamer it's the green one and they were like Mike there's more than one tube screamer and that's when I was like wait really oh okay well that's interesting so I did my online research at the time and I found out there was also the TS-808 and there was the mini one and I was like Whoa, 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 what's the deal with this TS-808? That's the thing that intrigued me the most because I have the TS-9, but they're saying this TS-808 is the vintage one and which one was Stevie Ray using and why is my head exploding with so many questions? So as a guy who has way too many overdrive pedals currently on his board, I felt the need to kind of get perspective on which was the best one for me or maybe even just what are the differences between the two. So I hit up my good friends at Sweetwater and asked if they could send me a TSA 808 to check out and see like what I think of it or how good this overdrive actually is. So hold on. So it's here. It's time to break open this bad boy. This is the first time I've gotten an Ibanez pedal in a long, long time. Moment of truth. Oh, interesting. It comes with a different power supply than the other one. It comes with an adapter, which is good, because if it didn't, I think I would be a little upset. I'm very intrigued to try this out. Got the same three knobs. The button is smaller. Obviously, it doesn't take up the entire bottom of the pedal. And the knobs are a little bit different, but I'm really excited to try this out. So. Let's, let's plug it in and let's get going. I changed it for my sweatshirt because it was getting cold in here. If we wanna get hot tones, I wanna match the hot tones with my body warmth. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is definitely the setup, just to test the pedal first thing going in. I want it to see what it would actually do just as a clean boost, not as even like a heavy overdrive, but kind of like that level turned all the way up and overdrive turned about as far down as it can. And I have it going right after the compressor. So right off the bat, I'm already seeing how it shines in like the mids and the low ends, the mids especially, which is probably how it gets that like vintage sound you get from the TS-808 if you wanna call it that. But I think the real question why we're all here for and what would be really interesting to see is how it compares in sound to the TS-9 and to see what the actual differences are. So I put it back to that light overdrive setting and I wanted to see like what it sounded like next to the TS-9. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So for the second comparison, I wanted to put everything at noon, not just a light overdrive, but a little bit more kind of like something that would get a little more breakup in the sound to compare the two, so. Finally, I cranked it a little bit. I wanted to see what the Tube Screamer could really do on both of them, see what that would sound like. <laughs> Now, I'm getting to a weird point where I like both sounds. Like I said, I think I think one of them tames the top end a little bit more. Let me know in the comments if you know which one I'm thinking of or if we're hearing the same thing. And I think the biggest thing, like I've said before in a couple of videos, there's kind of these legendary pedal combinations that like different guitar players use. And one of them that I've always wanted to try but never been able to is just the stacked Tube Screamer sound, especially having two different ones like the TS-808 and the TS-9 and seeing what those two together would sound like. Because I feel like even better than seeing the differences between the two is stacking them on top of each other and not having to push the drive so hard with just one overdrive pedal like a lot of people do. So I reconfigured it a little bit. I had the TS9 going into the TS808 this time and the TS9 just doing a very light overdrive and then the TS808 picking up more of the weight and tried playing with that a little bit, seeing what that would sound like. <laughs> Just being a Tube Screamer guy, I'm a big fan of this pedal. I've seen it for a while, I've wanted to play one for a while, and I think the stacking thing is more where I would go with my signal flow as like a guitar player, not just choosing one of the two, but actually incorporating both into my sound and having a clean boost right before the two of them, that's where I really want to be. To be able to have all of these like tonal variations just in accordance with overdrive. I think like I said before, this does a really good job in taming some of the high end that you can get when you crank the gain a little bit more. And I didn't even really have to play with the EQ settings yet. So that was really cool, but I really enjoyed this pedal. And like I said, I definitely see myself running like a dual tube screamer thing in the future, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I still even want to try the TS-10 if we can get my hands on it. But that's for a future video. Tell me in the comments again, if you want to see a TS-10 video, because that I think would be one of the best adventures in the history of the channel. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. It was a joy and a pleasure to make this video and to try and just see what we could do 
with the two different tube screamers, seeing what tones we can get and what they sounded like in comparison to each other. If you wanna pick up any of these two pedals or any of the gear that I used in this video, because this one was a little bit different in the way that I got the tones, but I was probably just as happy as I've ever been with in the way I was able to capture everything. All the gear in this video is available at Sweetwater. You can check out the links in the description. It's one of the best ways to support the channel if that's something you wanna do, or if you're just interested in learning about any of the gear that I use, make sure to check out those links. Make sure to like and subscribe if you had a good time and let me know what other gear, what other adventures you want me to go on. And most important of all, like literally most important of all, have a fantastic day. Oh, she's walking through the clouds.